Hello everyone, I am making this video to provide more information about what a ship voyage data recorder is, or as I will say from now on, VDR. I'm going to describe what its purpose is, and also I want to debunk some of the conspiracy theories around why portions of the data were missing after the dolly crashed into the key bridge earlier this year. But before we jump right into that, let's take a quick tour of the ship's bridge that this particular VDR is installed on. Here, I'll give you a tour of an LPG ship that goes from here to China and back on a regular basis. So this is the bridge. This is a very nice ship. These are their Ecuses, which are basically like the GPS in your car, their radars. And this ship is massive, but look at the size of the steering wheel. That's crazy. Another radar, Ecus, a bunch of alarm monitoring software. And let's walk outside. This is what they call the bridge wing. Oh, the door's locked. This is the Natchez River, the important Natchez. Over there is uh, the Mothball Naval Reserve Fleet. The ship's uh, taking a bathroom break. Now back to the BDR. Usually in a secure area on the ship, is the data collecting unit or DCU. This is basically a computer that connects to all the sensors, equipment, and microphones on board the ship. The network cables that I am pointing to now connect to the bridge consoles to be able to record all the images on the ship's radars and all the navigation equipments. These blue cables on the left connect to the external capsule and the float free capsule on the roof of the bridge, which we will take a closer look at in more detail later in this video. My hand is now on the BDR's internal battery. In a scenario where the ship lost power, this battery will keep the BDR recording for an additional two hours on battery backup or until the power is restored. However, once on battery power, by design, the BDR only records audio when on battery backup. None of the sensors, steering inputs, visuals, anything is recorded, only the audio on the bridge. I remember when the motor vessel Dolly incident first happened, there were numerous reports about the BDR data missing from the incident. This was not some sort of tampering or conspiracy. The BDR was working as designed and the audio recordings from the incident are all there. I now have a computer connected to the BDR to visually show the data that is being recorded on the unit. This particular model of BDR stores 30 days of voids data on the internal hard drive and also the capsules that are on the roof of the bridge contain the last 48 hours of data that has been recorded. What you are seeing on the screen now is the automatic identification system data that is being recorded. This shows all the other vessels that are in the near vicinity of this ship. The vessels speed through the water and the speed over the ground is recorded. Wind speed and direction is recorded. The vessel's heading is recorded. The vessel's position is recorded. Any alarms that may be taking place are recorded. Steering and engine controls are recorded. All audio of any radio communications are recorded, as well as all areas of the bridge where there is any audio. It is also being recorded by the BDR at all times. So we're now on top of what is called Monkey Island. And this is the VDR fixed capsule. All the data that was being recorded on the VDR is stored in here also. And in case the ship went down, a remote operated vehicle would come down and pull this off the vessel. They, were, they would be able to locate it because of this, which is an acoustic beacon. Once this is submerged underwater, it starts putting out a constant pinging noise that allows it to be located underwater. And there's also another capsule on board that floats free when the ship sinks. And that one is over here. Inside of here is an EPIRB that also stores all the BDR data. And then the ship sank, 
There is a hydrostatic release inside here that would release this at approximately 15 feet underwater and it would float to the surface. And it would contain all the data that was recorded during the incident that caused the ship to sink.